Great British Afternoon Tea Off, brought to you by Brit Week Los Angeles and the Anglophile Channel. We're going to be visiting some of our favorite tea rooms and learning a little bit about them, and then you, our audience, will get to vote and help us pick the best afternoon tea in Los Angeles. Today, we're going to visit with our first nominated tea room, the High Tea Cottage. Let's go in and take a look at what they have prepared for us. Good morning, ma'am. Welcome to the High Tea Cottage. My name is Peter, your butler. Come in. Welcome to the High Tea Cottage. My name is Chelsea. Please come enjoy. And this is Jen. Hello, how are you? Nice to see you. Welcome Thank to the you. cottage. It's Thank lovely you to so have you here. Much. Come and let me show you around. This is our parlor. This is our front room that we have here. This is where we do most of our private parties and you know that sort of thing are done in here. It's a lovely, lovely, lovely room and it goes out onto our garden. And then if we come back this way again, we have our uh, drawing room in the front here and we have a so table beautiful. already for you. You do? Yes, we do. Delightful. I don't know oh. if you're going to get rid of me. I love this. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Speaking of, was this a residence at one time? It was actually one of the cottages to the Warner Brothers Ranch. They had four cottages and this is a South Cottage. Is there any history that goes with it? Do you know? Well, we have a ghost that lives here, so she's brought her own history. We really? call her we call her Eloise, yes. Who do we think Eloise is? Well, we had a gentleman come in here who was in his late 90s mm -hmm. and he was telling us that as a, as a child he lived right up at the bottom of the hill and they used to ride their horses down here and look underneath the big fence which was you know some distance up and there was an old lady that moved here and she was a silent movie actress. Oh my gosh. Yeah really? so he said her name was Peggy but we had already named her Eloise okay. so We've, we stick to Eloise. And then we had, you know, the psychic Sylvia Brown. She yes. walked in the door once. And as soon as she walked in here, she said, oh, you have a presence here. And we said, yes, we do. And she said, oh, she just loves what you've done with the place. She's so That's happy. Magnificent. So that made us feel great that she was so happy. You. So maybe you could tell us a little bit about the well, special mm -hmm. Great Week tea that you've created. Yes, well, my husband and I were invited to the Coronation Festival at Buckingham Palace last July. So I thought, why not kind of bring that theme into the cottage and offer that to the, to the people over this I very festive that. time. So, so that's what we've put together. Very, very much so, very much so. We've got the cucumber with the watercress sandwiches. We have the curried egg with mint, then the breast of chicken, which is done in the coronation way. Um, apple and piccalilli, of course, being very English. And of course, the smoked salmon and ham and mustard. And then we bake the scones to order all day long. We're baking scones, so it never stops. Oh. And then we have a selection of lovely desserts. And we've priced it very reasonably so that people can, you know, try it out. And of course, we started off with good old English ginger beer. Tell, tell us about the English ginger beer. English now, ginger beer. That? Well, it's a it's a it's a non-alcoholic drink made from ginger. And it's okay. Schweppes make it in the UK, so it has a lovely sparkling flavor to it, and it's got the real good ginger flavor, but it's not overpowering. Okay, so we won't get a little tipsy from it. No, no, unfortunately <laughs> not. No, okay, no. very good. Yes, but it's really, really nice. And we also have a royal collection of teas, teas that are served at the palace or that the Queen has put out a royal warrant for. So we're offering those teas oh, to go with lovely. this. Yes, tell me about some of the, the tea selection that you have. Well, I noticed some that look uh -huh. very official right. on your menu. Well, we have Buckingham Palace Garden Party. That's an Earl Grey Bay with, base with jasmine. It's a very lovely light tea. It's one that Her Majesty deserves at her garden parties. We also have Coronation Almond Festival, which is one that was at the Coronation. So it has a very slight almond taste to it but once again a black tea very nice Indian uh, tea so very very lovely then we have uh, one called Hollywood House Palace or sorry Palace of Hollywood House okay. which is the Scottish Palace of Her Majesty and this one is is a herbal it's actually uh, Egyptian chamomile and then it has peppermint and a little bit of vanilla in it so it's a beautiful herbal flavored tea doesn't put you to sleep like chamomile yes. usually does you know yes. so it's really really nice so tell me what sets high tea cottage apart from the others in the industry well for us here we like to give someone an experience we want them to come and enjoy what we have and take their time we don't we, it's not our objection to turn the tables over quickly our thing is please come sit for the day if you want to just enjoy yourself the tea is bottomless we just keep pouring and making and we want you to really feel what it's like to be in Britain so this is our tea cart Beautiful. yes <laughs> so what we do is we let you smell the tea so let me just give you the 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 Royals collection first this is the Buckingham Palace garden party so it's an Earl Grey base with jasmine Excuse me, ladies. I have here is the Buckingham Palace Garden Party. It's an Earl Grey with jasmine on it. Is that an okay to pour it for you? Yes, thank you. Okay. 
Our fresh baked scones today are going to be lemon, mango, and cranberry. Those are on their way out of the oven right now, so I'm going to be doing the jam service for you. All the scones start with a Devonshire cream, and you have a selection of two jams. Today we have our lemon curd, what happens to be the, probably the most popular, I would say, with the scones. Very traditional. We also have a triple mixed berry, which works very well. This one's quite interesting. It's an apricot ginger. It has a really nice flavor to it. The ginger has that little extra kick to it at the end. Okay, this is our first of our two sandwiches. This one's curried egg, and this one is cucumber. So you have curried egg, and you have a cucumber. So both vegetarian there. Thank All right, you. So how are the teas? So you're Delicious. Enjoying this? Wonderful. Let me just refresh this one for you right Thank here. Thank you. Marzipan is a really mm. good choice. It's interesting. These are okay. works of art. Mm -hmm. They're beautiful. beautiful. Okay, I'll start first with the tea sandwiches. This is the vegetarian side. Mm -hmm. well, thank I you. have here is the oh. tomatoes with cranberry, cheese and chutney, apricots with cashews, and the curry egg on the other side, okay? And for you, ma'am, I think it's the salmon, classic cucumber, chicken cranberry walnuts, and some adjacent curry egg too, okay? So how's your tea? How are you enjoying it? It is absolutely delightful. Oh, good, it's good. It's really delicious. I mean, the flavors in your sandwiches mm -hmm. are so unique and so delicious. So what did you think of High Tea Cottage? Do you think they're going to win the Great British Afternoon Tea Off? I certainly hope so. Visit Tea Cottage between now and May 4th and find out if they're your favorite. Then place your vote at theanglefilechannel.com and let us know who your favorite is. You can also place your vote by leaving a comment below this video. The winner of the Great British Afternoon Tea Off is going to be decided the week of May 5th, so tune in. Join us for afternoon tea between now and May 4th and help us pick the best afternoon tea in Los Angeles. Pinkies up, it's tea time. Thank you so much for joining us at the High Tea Cottage today and we look forward to seeing you two here quite soon. Bye. Bye-bye.